Welcome Gemini to your weekly reading. We're going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Gemini, I'm going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible core energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the possible challenges, if any, coming through for you this week. The third row is the surprise energy you can expect this week. And finally, our fourth row is the possible outcome of the week. Gemini, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to go ahead now and just get your clarifiers for the week so we can just see all the possible energy coming through for you for this week, Gemini. And we've got the lovers. King of Wands. The Hanged Man. And the Three of Pentacles. Gemini, at the beginning of the week, your main energy coming through is that there has been an energy of waiting. Waiting for something to happen. And this waiting energy is coming through represented as the lovers. Now, Gemini, the lovers can speak to us of a divinely blessed twin flame soulmate connection. But it doesn't have to be. This could be the energy you have with a friend, with a family member, with a boss, a colleague or a business partner. But what it is speaking to us about is a relationship that is unique, special and very blessed. As you can see, we have our angel coming through here and we have another little angel represented in our lover's energy. So what we see as core energy is the energy of waiting. Maybe you were waiting for somebody to do something, to say something. Maybe you were waiting for this person to come through in some way. But this is the core energy we are seeing at the beginning of the week. Let's move on and we're going to get further insight regarding this. Under challenges, if any, we see the Four of Cups and the King of Wands. Now, Four of Cups, my dear Geminis, tells me that you have been feeling very empty in this particular area. And I think it's about this particular person that you could be waiting for or waiting for them to do something. And when I say empty, it's like you're feeling when is it going to happen for me? Why haven't they proposed? Why haven't they suggested that we move in together? Why hasn't my boss given me that promotion that they know I want so badly? You know, it's this energy of thinking nothing's happening for me. Nothing's going for me. My life is just quite empty. I'm feeling quite sad and miserable about it. But we must acknowledge here that there is the hand of God coming in here with a cup. So my dear Gemini's, there is something in the periphery. Something is going on around you and it's coming through from somebody who is representing as king of wands. Now this could be a masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the king of wands we are speaking about. King of wands is a very dynamic energy. This is the king who's the ultimate entrepreneur. He's a go-getter. He's a visionary. He's the king that knows how to network. He knows how to speak to people. He knows how to get the best out of people. This is the king that doesn't take no for an answer. So your challenge this week, my dear Geminis, is not to be so focused on what is not working what is not going for you and to lift your head up and see what is happening around you because there is this king of one's energy coming through and there is an offer coming in. But if you are just so focused on everything that is not going on in your life, there is possibility you can miss it. So your challenge is be aware, be alert, 
something can come in. And when I say it is in the periphery, it could be somebody just passing a comment. Oh, Gemini, do you know this and this company are looking for a designer? And that could be it. This is what we have to be aware of. Remember, my dear Geminis, be aware. Something is coming through. Let's move on now and see what surprises you can expect this week. And we have our Queen of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. You are presenting as Queen of Pentacles. Once again, it does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the card we are speaking about. Now, Gemini, this week you are being asked to harness our Queen's energy. She's strong. She's stable. She's grounded. She's connected to the earth. She sits on her throne in a beautiful landscape. She thinks things through. She's got a very deep understanding on how life works and she takes time to think things through. You see, we have this little rabbit here, which is a wonderful sign for us that you are incredibly lucky this week. There is a wonderful energy coming your way from our King of Wands. You just need to be aware of it. And we see with our hanged man energy that this waiting period has not been in vain. While you were waiting for this person to come through and make this gesture, make this offer, take this action, you gained a lot of insight and wisdom. You know, hanged man energy is the energy of being in God's waiting room. There was also this element of divine timing that needed to play out. But you are coming out of this energy now as we see with what is happening here. And you have the wisdom, the strength and the knowledge on how to manage this. You've gained a lot by waiting, my dear Geminis. Don't doubt that. It's now time for luck to run its course as divine timing comes into play. Just remember to look around you, my dear Geminis. It's there. It's just about you seeing it. Now let us move on and see what the possible outcome of the week is. The first energy we are looking at is Ace of Pentacles. Wonderful, wonderful confirmation. This Ace of Pentacles is relating to the cup coming through from the hand of God. You, my dearest Geminis, are being given a brand new opportunity, a brand new beginning in something with regards to our lover's King of Wands energy. You've been waiting for this and now is your lucky time. You're going to be able to move onward and upward into something that you've been dreaming about. With this movement, we do see the Three of Pentacles coming in, which I love to see because wherever you are going, you are going to feel connected. You're going to feel like you belong. You're going to feel like you're with like-minded people. You're in a place, whether it is a family situation, a love situation, a work situation, you are in an environment where you feel you belong and you are building something of value, something of substance. Very, very nice energy to see, my dear Geminis. This looks incredibly positive. Right, let us move on now and get a message from your guides for the week. So we just want to see now what Gemini's guides would like to share with them for this week, please. Psychic awareness number 47, Divine Soul. Your lucky number this week is 47. Any combination or variation of the numbers 4 and 7, please consider very auspicious. Your divine soul is coming through, my dearest Geminis, to let you know that this week you are very connected to spirit. And we saw that with our two angels coming through, the hand of God coming through twice. This is the week where you know you can trust your intuition, your gut feelings, your hunches, anything like that. Please know, my dear Geminis, 
you are able to trust this energy. You might be receiving messages and downloads in your dreams. You are very connected to your divine soul. Let your intuition and your psychic awareness be your compass this week. This looks really positive, my dear Geminis. So, that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.